Talk about love. Talk about trust. Talk about forever, baby. When you talk about us, give you my word. Stick to my guns. Believe me when I tell you, baby. And we just begun. You. Hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> my name is Ryan Fishman. And mine is Maria Prince. Yeah, this is my good fit. Uh, thanks for coming in and uh, seeing our home today. We'll just give you a walkthrough of how we live on a day to day basis and how we work together, how we um, get by, and how we do everything around this little place that we live in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just come. <laughs> Hi, hello, uh, good morning again. This is our sitting room or living room where we usually be most of the times because we really like to watch TV most times together or play music and listen and you know something might want to watch or something. Uh, well, this this place here in particular is Maria's little um, office. Yeah, tell about the office. Yeah, see here I sit down to get my votes. <laughs> yeah, well, we've already been working hard right here for three days in a row, night and day, trying to get votes and so on. So, uh, you know, her office, um, office is very important because she does some studies and she also uses her office to do revision and practice, you know, tests and all these things. Um, well, as you can see, it's not really too big because, you know, we we just try to make this comfortable as possible because this is just a temporary area, uh, a temporary uh, thing that we set up here until we move into our own home somewhere else. Right? Because we... Somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, I'm up the bank. I have the value of the land and try to get a uh, million soon. So, that is where we... We have everything right now to, to, to keep us comfortable and going as a nice, happy couple. To just to get sort of things happy. Well, maybe the day to day chores basically clean it up. Cooking, not every day is wash, um, but just be the day to day chores. Cleaning and cooking and looking after my family. For me, every day I get up, I sweep the yard. If I have any garbage in the back, I might just bundle them up and wire them quickly, I can show you. And, um, Speed up some sand because the sand sometimes is gets spread out as well, right? So I just try to maintain the yard neat and so on, and become rubbish. Um, and then I just put on my clothes and I got to work. <laughs> the first chore started right when I get up in the morning and got to make his tea. <laughs> oh, yeah, because she's helping me, you know, why is it preparing to the work? She's making the tea and the breakfast and so on. Pressing, sometimes you bring the top plates, I have to go on a hustle, press the top part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really like it's some, some more, right? but. It'd be, it'd be fun with just me, with me. I really enjoy it with her, and it's so nice. I just sit in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why it's my because of her. We like pink. Uh, our favorite color is yellow, but she likes pink too. And um, it's very comfortable, she likes it. She can't do it on this month. Yeah, this was me. Um, just finished doing some yard work, you know. They, they, they like clean up, just maintain the yard, keep it neat, keep it clean, feel comfortable around the environment. Um, so, this is usually why this is one of my to keep it clean, just do some spading up, keep the um, sun in order, and sweep away the grass, then it spread out of the yard, and keep, keep papers together. And, and I got a little spot at the back where I just keep them up and burn them, all right? So, just to keep the place clean and tidy. Today I'm trying to cook this cook-up because uh, Ryan is mostly the chef, <laughs> baby with cook-up. He would mostly cook cook-up, so 
today, I just said, let me let me try it and see if it will come out tasty as his own. <laughs> and in here, what I use, after turning now, say your chicken cut this. Super. You don't want to put any germs in your food, so wash your spoon. <laughs> And mix it up thoroughly. <laughs> I like to try it. <laughs> and you put your this is salt. Not to be too salty. This is some black pepper. Again. I leave it there so it could soak in the chicken. Please have me break this one. Yeah, like, I have to have the coconut part because we really don't have it. So you yeah, want to break it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Drink all your water and get it back. <laughs> yeah, well, this is part where I break up the coconut uh, before I give it to Marie to do the blending up and put it in the, um, into the coconut part, right? So, I just break it, uh, well I got this bowl to catch water in case, if any, and when I just flip it, drink it out. <laughs> So this is how he's actually moving at the book faster. Yeah, we see you gotta help out the thing that can take on the fire. Especially if you want to put on things. Blend them the coconut, you bring the blend the coconut. It's um very tasty, but being be, being the chef on cook up and the, <laughs> the master in it, based on the judging, um, it's close, but it's, it's not as um, tasty as mine, right? <laughs> but she did a good job with cook up though. It's, but she usually do most of the cooking. I just cook some selected um, meals that I like um, or that I enjoy eating. And um, let me just give you a, a taste. <laughs> Good. 
I would like to say a special thanks to all my friends and family who has been voting for me. Um, friends of friends and friends of many friends. <laughs> um, and thank you to Mr. Jerry Govaya and his hard working team. Yeah. We thank them very much. Don't forget, vote for us please. If you like us, you think we are, we are the couple that deserve to have our free wedding and what we've been hoping for now. Um, please vote for us for your couple number four. Number four. <laughs> All right. You could vote for us via Facebook, on the Rhyme or by the next book page, or you can send a text message for us to send a text message to either these numbers 603 4674 or 623 8136. All right. Just send a text message saying couple number four or vote on Facebook or Rhyme by the next book page saying couple number four. Please vote for us. We very appreciate of your vote. We thank you for everything you done for us. We, we thank the public for our support so far. And we thank, thank for Ryan especially for this wonderful experience that he took us through at our point at Duke Lodge um, and everything else. And of course, uh, Mr. Jerry Devine. So take your time to visit our home. This part of our home is like the immediate waiting and sitting area. All right, this everything is in preparation right now. Carter's at a time where we're in transition. We're preparing our home for marriage. All right, and this one side of our home, this here is a sitting area. This is our temporary dining area. Right, which is our bar temporary and this is our bar counter where we're gonna be there's a general ID as you can see that we are prepping and we're preparing this is our little baby Ariel for the first time you getting this here but she take knock out <laughs> we well um Nigel do most of everything around here he do well I just assist him in cooking and you know partial cleaning and stuff but he does he does much of everything <laughs> that's why i love him crying <laughs> he does everything and i just relax <laughs> all right good day again right now it's just about lunch time and it's all about preparation today we're preparing one of our favorite weekend meals is steam greens with crunched fried fish it's broccoli with cheese covered outside nice steamed and hot with pumpkin and butter sauce alongside fish with sweet and sour sauce with a slight twist of lime and this is just on the weekends this is for Sunday or Saturday alone and it's all about relaxation something good from a recipe book or from a family. Let's go. So 
Babes, right now this is just about looking good. It's steamed very nice. I'm going outside I finish brushing off the back in the meantime while you finish preparing the table. Right? Everything are clean, done set, and it's ready to go get a meal. And well, this is part of the preparation we were speaking about. Pumpkin steamed with broccoli. Now it's about to get seasoned and cheese. A little bit of salt. I'll give the pumpkin some taste. That's it. Get some butter on the pumpkin. Keep it real moist and give it that extra flavor. Alright, so how we get it done on a weekend. Normally during the week, it's crazy. You gotta go to work, you gotta drop the baby to school, and it's, it's, it's even busier. But on the weekend, we always gotta get it done together. So somebody's in a learning process, somebody had an idea. Yes. Most of the time, since this is a meal that we take from a recipe, and we want to do something special on the weekend, it's something that's done together. Check it out. Now, Choi, we, we, we're going to promote, we're going to promote for them. This is sweet and sour sauce. This gives anything that you're making good punch, right? All right. Very nice. All right. And the taste test. Preparation. Okay, come on. Oh, dear. Delicious. All right. There you have it. Weekend meal prepare in a healthy way. This is our home system that we are so you. This is part of my hobby. Called Roses Music. For all those who know Roses Music over the years, know that this is what we are about. Music, good vibes, and when we ain't got nothing to do, it's all about the vibes, the beat, and the rhythm. Right now, it's Buju Bantan. You're listening, Lamb Style. All right, Big John Legend. And that's how we go. Remember, this is couple number three. Farida Ghani, Nigel Canterbury. Check us out on Facebook as Nigel Canterbury and you see all the tags also Farida Ghani. Remember to check us also on Roraima Wedding Expo. Just type it in your Facebook search. Find couple number three, like, vote couple number three. Do remember also, you can text 603-4674 602, no, that is 623-8136. Roger that, and that's couple number three all the way. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Nazima and welcome to my home. Today, my fiance is visiting me and we're couple number five. Good afternoon. 
actress and a fiance are visiting our today. Today we're gonna take you on a little activity and all we get to and all we go about with our day to day plan when I, whenever you come over. Normally my fiance comes at around lunchtime. So when he comes I normally prepare things for him to eat. So whatever he like I ask him before he comes so I can finish doing the prepare preparation for it. Well when I come at my fiance house I normally like help her out and check clothes, do some packing up, clean up room. Like you know, normal routines. Yeah, like help oh. wash wash the beers and you know, like spend good times together. And we also watch our favorite movie. We actually sit down and try to pick out movie that we normally enjoy, separate so that when we come together we will just watch it. My fiance will take over from here, from the washing birds. So I would head out in the yard and do some chores out there. I finished out in the yard here, so I'm gonna have my fiance do some laundry and pack up some clothes. And For lunch, I'm, we're preparing routine curry and also sandwich. And I'm here cutting up the seasoning for the curry, and Roma over there preparing a the sandwich. And I'm here, finish and make make the sandwiches so Now we're gonna eat while we watch television so that we can enjoy our moment together before it goes on. And yes, we normally do this. Time because we have nothing to do other than spending time with each other and talk about things like living myself and not being around each other. Let me know what the deal we can roll, we can chill. By the bar, if you're tired, we can vibe. Oh, no, I tell you mind. You tell me yours if we get bored. I'd 
like to show you taking trips out to Barcelona Paris Venice several Here we are completely rested already at lunch so I watched this morning so I have a bit of clothes to pull up Roma is here and he's gonna help me I think he can throw clothes but... yes I can throw clothes <laughs> Maybe not all the time is with right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna pull the clothes now, so leave it. Number five, so don't forget to vote for us. Five. At six or three, five to six, seven to four, or six to three, eight to one, thirty six. Or uh, if you don't get, you can vote there and also follow us on vote for us on Wedding Expo page, or you can even add me on Facebook, Sasha Khalil. I'm not there with my right name, but my right name is Nadima Khalil, but. I have Sasha Kalia, so you can go on my go on my profile and it have a link there to the wedding expo page. You can vote there. Thank you. Well, you can find me at Ansel McLean on Facebook. So just go there and search for Rhymo Wedding Expo 2014. Click on it and start voting. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Keep on finding my life. Bye. I find As we get on a rubbing shoulder to shoulder Something special about you Girl, I'm missing you like crazy Missing you, girl Baby, I L-O-V-E Why are you? L-O-V-E I love you Missing you like crazy Welcome to our house, Diana. Home, actually, you know, this is my castle. And they say, man, home is his castle. Um, we lately acquired this home, July last year. And I would like to welcome you, Chinese public, into our home, the couple number two. All the way number two. Quite Looking forward to your votes. Welcome. So, let me take you to the heart of our home, our kitchen. Which is says the way to a man's heart. But everybody knows I don't cook. Can't cook. <laughs> well, so she says because actually she's making some samosas and the cameraman is going to taste the samosa and, and hopefully he's going to you know turn the camera around and tell the people that you know my wife can cook. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you a little bit of rundown on my samosa and what is going on inside of it. And then Mr. Tuck and Roll here, who fondly named Tuck and Roll at Wild at Arrow Point, will have the honor of tasting that. Hopefully, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is my version of samosa, which is made from the Chinese wonton wrap. And the filling is potatoes, sweet pepper, boro, carrot, and strip chicken. And then you'll have a delicious sauce on top of it. So I'll be frying it in a bit. Hi. Mm. Oh, that's a monster. Yes. The sauce is a pineapple garlic sauce. That was made specially for the samosa. By me. <laughs> <laughs> for your enhanced flavor. <laughs> for what? Enhanced. You're trying to say that I can't cook some more, so you have to enhance the flavor. No, baby, we're just spiking the flavor up. <laughs> I can't believe I'm cooking 
Oh, on TV. On TV. Sick. A woman who don't like cooking. <laughs> a woman who was told me, can cook. You better learn to cook. At least learn to make roti. First thing Vina ever cooked food is chicken curry, dal and rice <laughs> with potato chocolate. <laughs> Coming from an Indian home, I was expecting Indian tasting food. But it was far from even tasting like curry. I got spoon. <laughs> I even ventured to ask my father to take a taste knowing that he has a choir taste to tell me what he thinks about it. <laughs> you know, my father's a very jovial person. Mr. Baka said, well, if this is the sort of cooking that you're going to be getting, you better learn how to cook, son. <laughs> <laughs> so, took his advice. So I'm the head of the kitchen. This is my assistant chef. <laughs> this is right. Well, this right here in front of you is the memoirs of the Vina Narayan about Pride Bacchus. If you can, well, the camera probably wouldn't get the date, but this is dated 28th September 2000. And this here, this first page basically tells you about her loving me from since I fell in love with her actually and didn't even know. All through her teenage years, she had a crush on me. And, you know, 16, when she was 16, you know, she just decided that it was time that she, she tell me about loving me and wanting to be with me and stuff like that. Well, that was after I told her how much I was madly in love with her. And this is dated March 18, 2002. And basically, it's the same thing, just saying all about our dreams of being together and living together and loving each other eternally forever. And this is just sort of shows the kind of person that she is and you know when some guys get a four page letter as you can see I got one two three four five six seven pages <laughs> of total love <laughs> like our home I'm sorry my love but I would like the cameras to know that this is Dory <laughs> I suppose Indian people will understand the term dowry. Dowry means where the Indian family pays the male of the, the groom's family for her hand in marriage. So this here is my dowry. <laughs> and, and, and my two loving dogs inside, Cannabis and Sense Emilio, are makeup gifts for him for getting my birthday in 2012. Yeah. Nothing goes on in here. Oh, and as the wife was saying, room number three is where the magic happens. <laughs> so, this is my living room. This is my prize piece. Picture, portrait of me, the love of my life, soulmates. Honestly, I think we are soulmates. We've been together as friends forever, as lovers. We are like perfect. It's like I've met the one person that has completed my life. As you can tell, you have dated a lot of girls before, and you know, we had our ins and outs and all of that, but you know. It has always been her, she has known that, and I have known that, I am now 100% sure of it, and, well, there's no turning back now. Saturdays doing household chores. We spend quality time together with our pets and me and my novels. I'm a romantic freak.
Well, this is my job on Saturdays. I'd like you to meet Sensimilia. No, no kiss, Sensimilia. This, hello, Sensi. <laughs> hello, Sensi. And this is my Saturday afternoon. Making love to my dogs. <laughs> so, Guyana, we're couple number two, as we said. And if you would like to see us in this wedding expo, race to the altar, please vote for couple number two via Facebook. Uh, the, the Facebook page is Wedding Expo. It has a pink photograph among all the other Wedding Expo pages showing up. And the number to text to is 603 4674 and 623 8136. Please text couple number two to these numbers or vote for us on Facebook. Couple numbers number again 603 4674 and 628. Is 623 623 8136. Thank you again, Guyana. Looking forward to your votes. Couple number two. And thank you for coming to our home. Bye. Let's have this. Let's have this. Let's And how are we today? You're good. You're great. Mm -hmm. All right. These are my folks. As you know, this is my sweetheart, <laughs> Denzel. And this is his father. Oh, yeah, I'm going little brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, welcome. I must say welcome to Birdies. And I hope you have a good stay here. Okay, um, I would just like to give you a tour of my home, my humble abode, mm -hmm. before we get all with our daily activities. What do you think? We plan to go, proceed this out. All right, good. Now we're gonna start in five, four, three, two. In the afternoons, we will normally go cycling, as you can see. These are our bikes, from the small one right up to the daddy. But this afternoon we won't be cycling. We did some gardening this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna pick up some clothes and then we're gonna watch a movie before dinner. Uh, you know what I'm Come to Look, one for you. Why, and thank one you. Benzie, so please open my room. I can open oh, yours. It's cool. Oh, wow. It's cool. This one is for the oh. cameraman. Oh, Jelani, bring your own. Bring straws. No, bring it just like that. Oh, you can't bring it. That's what we normally do with the afternoons. 
Let's sit and relax. Then have a little snack and watch some fun movie. This is the movie guy right here. He loves movie. You love the movie, David? Yeah. But Did I skip it? You don't want to do it anymore. Good evening once again, Diana. I would just like to remind everyone that we are couple number one and we are anticipating your vote because it's time we get married. Isn't that so? Okay, um, in order to get us, you can go on Facebook on the wedding expo link. And just like and vote for a couple number one. Couple number one. Menza? The telephone number 603-4674 or not or sorry, and 623-8146. Yes. So please vote. And you have a piece of cake if we win. When we win, in uh, fact. When we win, yes. that's right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.